What we gonna do right here is go back. Yeah, I remember that shit. 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 What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, man, who could forget the series of Friday? I mean, come on, the first Friday was so classic, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure everybody know the movie by heart. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's just, it's just it was just an actual mainstay. Now, today, man, we're talking about next Friday. Now, next Friday is so monumental, man, being that next Friday, you know what I'm saying? For one, the cast got paid more. I mean, the first Friday, everybody got $5,000 all in. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no extra nothing. It was just $5,000 and wasn't no additional money. But next Friday, man, you know what I'm saying? It brought about Mike Epps. It brought about so many other new people, new faces that we've never seen before. You know what I'm saying? And it was it was equally funny. You know, I, mean, I don't think it's as classic as the first one was. Because by then we were kind of, you know, on edge. We were just kind of like, hmm, what this going to be like? But next Friday, man, it brought about a whole bunch of new cast mates on next Friday. Now, the film was released on January 12, 2000, which happens to be my birthday. One time for the Capricorns. But yeah, man, so it brought out, you know what I'm saying, uh... A different vibe man it was, you know it took place in a whole different area you know what i'm saying it was really cool we got to see some of our latino people in there you know what i'm saying and it was really cool man the budget was like 11 million dollars and it was also produced uh by ice cube as well and also under his imprint q vision now some of y'all don't know about next friday i don't know why you wouldn't but uh debo comes back man he spends two years behind bars he's released from prison you know what I'm saying? His dad fears for his son's safety, so he moves his son to uh, live with Uncle Elroy in Rancho Cucamonga. You know what I'm saying? That's the first time we got to see Lady of Rage in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, the year 2000 snacks. It was all funny. However, one of the castmates, man, I'm pretty sure y'all remember her quite vividly, man. Carla, a.k.a. Lisa Rodriguez. Now, Lisa Rodriguez, man, when she hit that screen, man, every man wanted to be with Lisa. We was all like, damn, who is this chick? So I was wondering, man, I'm like, damn, I haven't seen Lisa in any movies, man. I wonder if she is actually still fine. So you already know Lionel B, man. Lionel B does his research and he be doing his thing. So I looked her up, found her, reached out to her, you know what I'm saying, got to know her a little bit. And saw some very sad things about her. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, Lisa, man, not not Lisa from next Friday. Like, yo, what's going on, little baby? So, you know what I'm saying? Apparently, man, she's got a lot of issues going on with other directors, man. Other directors tried to pimp her out. They basically tried to, you know what I'm saying, get her to send over uh, images wearing less than normal clothing. You know what I'm saying? And she has a lot of things going on in her life, man. Now, currently right now, man, this is how Lisa looks right now. Now, the bad thing about it, man, is, is that it's uh, Lisa, man, she's going through a lot of issues, man, financially, um, health-wise, mental-wise. You know, it's just a lot of bad things, man. She currently has a GoFundMe up right now where she's actually trying to raise some money, man, because she's going through a really tough time. Now, allegedly, man, um, Lisa is actually homeless currently um, because she's actually being evicted from their apartments in New York City, man. Like, her father has fallen ill, and also, Lisa is disabled currently. She's been having a lot of issues going on, and she's also battling, you know, anxiety, depression, a whole bunch of things. I'm going to play this clip right here, man, from her live where she was just recently on, and I'm going to let y'all check that out right now there and i'm gonna get right back with you want a one shot you know fifty thousand dollars she included legal fees i don't know why um i think it's totally ridiculous but anywho it is what it is and i have to go back to new york then i found out <laughs> to that my sister who's 36 years old my beloved sister my my sister that i love so much hatije karamache 
um, has a brain tumor. It's non-cancerous, but still a brain tumor. It's pretty big, and she's going to get brain surgery March 28th in Stanford, so I have to be around her as well, so I'll be going back and forth. Um, for all my friends who had donated to my GoFundMe, thank you so much. Please continue to, um, $20, Thirty dollars for anything would help because these people are gross. They're just disgusting. They're fucked up. Yes, I said fucked up. They're really fucked up to to just throw out disabled people. Even though I even said I, I'll work, I'll freelance, and I'll give you twenty five hundred a month, they wouldn't take that, which is kind of fucked up. I mean, really fucked up. Anyways, whatever. That is New York for you guys. And that's why we have homeless. And it's not cool. So I was literally homeless. I was homeless. Thanks to 70 and 79 Associates. And thank you, Lillian, Judge Lillian Juan. And thank you to Amsterdam and LeWinter. <laughs> you guys are amazing people. I'm being sarcastic, obviously. But um, not cool at all. I mean, as you know, whoever followed me on here, you know my neck was bothering me. I have three bulging discs, a cervical sprain, torn ligament, and the rest of my spine is kind of messed up. But I still do what I have to do in freelance and try to work. And, you know, I probably go on disability. And um, the anxiety, the depression, all that stuff from the custody battle for the six, seven years. But I do the best that I can, and I try to tell the judge this, you know, I will pay this much, and she just wanted the whole lump sum, and I think it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> but anyways, life is not fair, is it? It's really kind of sad, man. Like, a lot of the things that she actually posts on there is really sad and disheartening now. Again, I did mention that she does have a GoFundMe page, man. If you feel compelled and you feel like, you know, she's definitely um, worth doing that, that would definitely be a great thing for her, man. Now, um, her biggest claim to fame was the movie Next Friday. Now, she basically uh, recently went on to GoFundMe, man, and she's reaching out to get some assistance to help save her apartment that her and her whole family has occupied for about 40 years. Now, basically in that message, man, she said, I spent much of my youth there and my mother passed away in that apartment. I find myself in this situation because of a nonprofit organization the Jewish Association serving the aging. They were appointed to my elderly father as guardianship. They were responsible for looking over his finances, which would cover the rent. They did not do this. And also they had him sent to Art Care Nursing Home in Rhinebeck, New York, which is two and a half hours away from his apartment on the Upper East Side, where I also reside. Now, she does, uh, does go in saying that, man, she's been through a fierce custody battle for the last six or seven, going on seven years. And she said her children comes to visit as well and have lived in that apartment. So she doesn't have custody of her kids. They come to visit. Now, she's basically uh, indicating, man, that she will be in a actual homeless shelter if nobody actually steps in and helps her out. Now, um, she's basically indicating all she wants is her father to come home or at least close to his community and family, grandchildren be safe, and he can and he can have a home health aide at home with me. Now she's um she basically indicated also on her Instagram man that she will be trying to find a job or she's supposed to be starting a, a new job somewhere. But you know what I'm saying? My question is kinda like, well, you know what's going on with the other castmates from Friday like you know did they never step in to you know kind of help out like what's the situation on that like what's going on you know um with Friday being such a uh, next Friday being such a monumental movie you would think a lot of job offers and a lot of things would come right after that opportunity I mean that movie it had like an 11 million dollar budget so it did pretty well it's you know it's still doing well it's on Netflix right now streaming so are you not getting any residuals like i don't know how that contract reads i'm just you know right now i'm just playing devil's advocate and trying to figure out exactly what exactly is going on with the situation and why um why is she going through what she's going through i mean i know that she's you know she's she's had a lot of health issues i, I totally understand that you know what i'm saying health issues are real it can really um debilitate you to the point to where you're not able to do much of anything so i totally 
understand that right there. How does how does that how how does all that happen to someone? You know, I mean, I know Hollywood can definitely be a shady and a dirty place. And, you know what I'm saying? Just hoping the best for her, man. Hoping that, you know, she gets some type of help, man. Or some work. I mean, she was a pretty good good actor in the movie. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have a lot of major roles. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, she could have, you know, used that platform to catapult to bigger and better things. I mean, you got reality star personalities just going into bigger and better things. They started just doing a little reality show and they're doing much bigger things now and they're getting a bag they're getting a check all the time so definitely hoping um carla aka lisa man she she gets you know saying the assistance that she needs man the, the drive the blessing that she needs man in order to be successful and be self-sufficient man because it's definitely not you know what i'm saying a good look man to be homeless you know what i'm saying like i totally understand that right there i understand you know taking care of your family you want to be there for your family and you want to be the best that you can be but i'm also wondering man like where is the cast man like everybody else in the movie did wonderful everybody else in the cast did wonderful man like from mike epps i mean mike epps you know at, at the time he did the movie he was homeless mike epps was homeless man he was living on a park bench and i know that personally because i spoke to mike epps Okay, so I'm, I'm, t I'm telling y'all facts, man. Lionel B does not make up things. I personally talked to Mike Epps, man. I own the magazine. You know what I'm saying? We did an interview with him, and he was just a very cool, chill, laid-back person. I was expecting him to be Day Day, and he was just on some real cool, like, man, look, this is what it was. This is what it wasn't, you know, and I was just like, man, this is the same dude that be on TV. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was a real cool, down-to-earth dude, so... Not really sure what happened with this situation, man. Um, I am supposed to be interviewing her at some point. We did uh, reach out to her. She did say she was interested and she has a lot to talk about. So she will be possibly coming to the Lionel B show soon. So y'all stay tuned, man. But in the meantime, man, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the video. Share the videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.